Dijon hosted Bordeaux at the Stade Gaston Gérard with both sides hoping to return refreshed after the international break. Mustard's coach Olivier D'Aolio has seen his side claim just two points taken in the last ten league outings and still missing Johan Gurkov, Florent Balmont, Benjamin Geno, Roman Amalfitano, Mehdi Abed and Frederic Samaritano return to the first 11 as Dijon chase a first win since thrashing Nice in week three. Bordeaux were not faring much better with one win in nine in all competitions. Fighting on two fronts has taken its toll. Bottom of Europa League, Group C and eight points adrift of European return domestically. Yet they started brightly and Francois Camano thought he'd put the Girondin ahead. Only for referee Francois Letexier to rule it out after using VAR to show he was just ahead offside. Well, name Slitty yet to break his duck this season. That was a positive influence for the hosts. Just sliding past Benoit Costiel's post. Well, half time and all square. Nine goals shared between the teams last season with a home win in each. But confidence low. Girardin with just one league goal in four. Dijon with four strikes in their last 11. Dalolio not looking the most confident things were going to change, but again, it was Slitty who was the positive spark in red, driving at the Bordeaux defence, but this time Costiel smothering the shot. Well, Bordeaux had been denied by VAR correctly in the first half, but felt they'd finally scored a legitimate one when Jan Caramo followed in. The man in black again at the centre of things. Offside once again when using VAR, leaving general manager Ricardo quietly fuming on the sidelines. Well, Albert back in the Dijon side after injury and maybe two matches missing have left him rusty. Wildly striking over the bar. Almost apologetic to the Mustard fans behind the goal. Goal at his mercy. Midfielder failing to hit the target and punish Costiel. Well, Slitty this time. The provider and Abed with a much better strike. Beating Costiel, but not finding the inside of his left post. Well, Bordeaux frustrated by far, while Dijon's lack of killer instinct in front of goal means it's 11 without a win as they remain 18th on goal difference behind Caen.